In this demonstration, you will see how to examine flow through a Y duct. Air with different velocities and temperatures flows into a Y duct through two different inlets, numbers 1 and 2. At inlet 1, the velocity of air is 1.5 meters per second, with a temperature of 323.15 Kelvin. In the other inlet, the velocity of the air is 3.5 meters per second, and the temperature is 298.15 Kelvin. We will find out the average temperature and velocity of the air at the outlet. We will start by launching ANSYS space claim. For this demonstration, we will be modeling the fluid volume directly. First, we will create a circular face and extrude it along a swept path. Next, we will mirror the body and finally create names for the inlets and outlet. To create the circular face, switch to the 3D mode. Using the Select tool, control left click both the Z and the Y axes. Next, switch to the Sketch tool. Choose the Circle option and create a circle at the origin. When prompted, enter 750 millimeters for the diameter. If you accidentally created a different object, you can use a shortcut such as Windows Control Z to undo it. Return to the 3D mode. We can see our circle has been converted into a 2D circular surface. Again, choose the Select tool. This time, select the X and the Y axes and enter the sketch mode. You can click on the Z axis in the triad in the bottom left for a view perpendicular to the XY plane. Choose the line tool and start a line at the origin. This point is coincident with our 2D circular surface. For the second point, enter in 5000 millimeters, hit tab, and enter 90 degrees for the angle. This will create a line in the negative X direction. The line tool should still be engaged. If it is not, simply choose it again from the toolbar and continue. Our second line will be 1500 millimeters at 135 degrees. Our final line will also be 1500 millimeters, but again horizontal. To do this, enter 135 for the angle. To exit the line tool, press escape. Next, choose the pole tool. This will enter the 3D mode and allow us to select the circular surface. Switch to the sweep option and select the three lines we just created. Finally, choose the up to tool and select the final point on the end of the lines. Our 2D surface has now been swept along our path. Next, we will mirror this body across the XZ plane. Using the Select tool, select the X and the Z axes. From the toolbar, create a plane. Click in the background to deselect our current plane, and choose the Mirror option. Now select the plane we just created, and a point somewhere on the object. This will mirror our object across the plane. Switch to the Select tool again. To hide the plane and the original surface we created, unselect the two objects in the structure tree. Our final step is to create names for each surface. These names will be imported into Fluent Meshing, and they will help us greatly in the next several steps. Let us first rename the entire volume. Right-click Solid and click Rename, and enter Y Duct. Next, switch to the Groups tab and using the Select tool, select one of the inlets. Click on Create NS, which stands for Name Selection, and type in Inlet 1. Similarly, we can do this for Inlet 2 and the Outlet. Finally, Select each of the walls using the control left click and create one final object and name it walls. 
These specific names will be recognized by Fluent, and the appropriate boundary conditions will be applied. We will have to double check that these boundary conditions are correct. Let us save our geometry before continuing to Fluent meshing. Click on the Workbench tab and navigate to Fluent and choose Watertight Geometry Workflow. This will create a template for our meshing procedure. This concludes our video on the geometry creation of a Y duct. In the next section, we will mesh the geometry using fluent meshing. Thank you for watching.